Is it time to buy or sell NEO stock? In this video, we're diving deep into NEO. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, June 23, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since June 22, 2023, our system has ranked NEO as a sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 1.52. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock experienced a loss of minus 5.49%. This translates to an average loss of minus 2.75% per day since it was listed as sell candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a very wide and falling trend in the short term and further fall within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential minus 10.22% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 27.49% and 3.31%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 57.77% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 76.66% and minus 46.69%. This translates to a price range of $1.97 to $4.49 after a year. Our latest daily update for NEO includes the headline, NEO stock price took a fall of minus 5.49% on Friday. The NEO stock price fell by minus 5.49% on the last day, Friday, June 23, 2023, from $8.92 to $8.43. It has now fallen five days in a row. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 5.68% from a day low at $8.28 to a day high of $8.75. The price has fallen in six of the last ten days but is still up by 8.22% over the past two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day by 13 million shares but on falling prices. This may be an early warning and the risk will be increased slightly over the next couple of days. In total, 41 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $349.16 million. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $24.43, and the lowest price was $7. Currently, the price is 65.49%, or $16, below the 52-week high, and 87.42%, or $58.56, below the all-time high on January 11, 2021, when the price reached $66.99. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Thursday, November 17, 2022, UBS set a price target of 13. On Thursday, November 17, 2022, UBS set a price target of 13. On Thursday, November 17, 2022, UBS set a price target of 13. On Thursday, June 30, 2022, HSBC set a price target of 28. On Thursday, June 30, 2022, HSBC set a price target of 28. Analysts have given NEO stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for NEO. The NEO stock holds a sell signal from the short-term moving average, at the same time, however, there is a buy signal from the long-term average. Since the short-term average is above the long-term average there is a general buy signal in the stock giving a positive forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the short-term moving average at approximately $9.14. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the long-term average at approximately $8.23. A breakup through the short-term average will send a buy signal, whereas a breakdown through the long-term average will send a sell signal. Furthermore,
there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Thursday, June 15, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 13.89%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Volume rose on falling prices yesterday. This may be an early warning and the stock should be followed more closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, sell signal 6 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 8 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 4 days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal 10 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 9 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, buy signal 10 days ago. The long-term moving average, sell signal 3 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Buy signal 186 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for NEO NEO finds support from accumulated volume at $8.40 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock may move much during the day, volatility and with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $0.470 between high and low, or 5.68%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 6.38%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for NEO, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio means the company has negative earnings or is losing money. Even established companies experience down periods, often due to factors beyond their control. However, consistently negative P-E ratios may signal insufficient profit and possible bankruptcy risks. In other news, the next earnings report for Q2 2023 is expected on SEP 05, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at dash $0.420. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for NEO. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for NEO is at $8.79. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, NEO encounters its first support level at $8.40. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set. Is NEO stock a good buy? NEO holds several negative signals and we believe that it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We, therefore, hold a negative evaluation of this stock. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Monday, June 26, we expect NEO to open up $0.0567 and start trading at $8.49. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.